Peace and love you beautiful miracles with a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from a spiritual level of being and today I want to do a more in-depth discussion of reincarnation. Now for those of you that have watched my videos on reincarnation you know that I'm not a believer of karma or a reward and punishment system. Rather I see karma as its true meaning, cause and effect. And without a creator you have no creation. You have no creation, you have no creator, which basically means that all of us together, collectively as energy, start this big bang. And from this big bang, we have forgot who we truly are, in a sense to seek an experience outside of ourselves. And now we must order, complete ourselves, must go through this learning experience to discover who and what we truly are. And discover the true nature within ourselves and not deny it, which is love and compassion. Now, say you're an intolerant person or very loud, this is something you've probably harbored in from your past life. Say you're a good leader, you have leadership skills, or you're a philosopher, you can say that you got these skills from your mum and father. This may be true, but you also met them in a past life and together you nurtured this aspect of you or aspect of them, and you had a connection in between this aspect of yourselves. Now, karma being cause and effect, I may kick you. This may cause an effect and cause. Now, this whole big cycle of life isn't about the illusions of hate, distraction, chaos. It's about learning, love, seeking high experiences and high levels of consciousness of yourself. Certain light bringers like Jesus or Buddha come into this world to bring a bit of light, to expand our consciousness, that is a part of us, to see ourselves through others. Now most people are on autopilot mode and don't even know themselves, and let alone can't actually see their actions harming others or let alone even see themselves in others. And they just keep reincarnating until in the end they learn a lesson. So say that you've learnt this lesson, you don't need to reincarnate. The other person who needs to learn this lesson will have someone else come into the role to fill this role in order for this soul to learn its ultimate experience. Everything is mathematical, everything is mind, including us, the animals, all life itself. It was one big mathematical mind, one big learning program that is experiencing itself through all life itself, evolution. So in a sense it's a reverse of the Big Bang, to discover what we truly are, to no longer reincarnate or evolve anymore, to truly have nothing else to learn from this world or maybe another world. So life goes on, it's a never ending program. And the reason why life just continues going on is because the energy needs to come from somewhere. And the reason why so many souls keep reincarnating is because they haven't learned to forgive themselves or learn to accept that they've made a mistake and learn to let love guide their actions and ultimately truly ascend. Life rarely devolves. And when it does, it trades in its compassion and rational ways of thinking for more primitive ways of thinking like sex and just eating. When life first begins, it was primitive. Thus, life was ascending and learning to discover what it truly is, instead of seeking experience outside of itself, which is cause and effect of what we see now, cause and effect. Everything is connected, all of us, all life, all microorganisms, the trees, the planets, everything is alive, everything is mathematical. Now, your experience is a zero dimensional thought. The universe works on a mathematical frequency and black holes are also a zero dimensional point. So our minds are similar to the universe. Everything works in a mathematical sense. This is why the Gnostic saying maths as rational and you can explain the secrets of the universe through maths. They see everything as the existence of an eternal mind and everything of personalities is this one source of energy learning itself, essentially playing with itself. So one big experience of mathematical thought that is all of us unified. And this experience has divided us and not from just from each other, but from ourselves. And so this is the fall with the redemption in a sense that not of was spoke of redemption through Christ, which is the emergence of your higher self, your inner God, your inner Buddha. We have different levels. We have a higher self, we have a lower self, and we have detached ourselves from this causing the split being when we must identify ourselves as one in order to truly progress. Meditation is also highly necessary in order to make real progression every day. 
to seek your inner experiences of oneself, of your mind, to truly feel yourself in nature and feel yourself within others. The energy that creates all this that is around me, that continues it, is not separate from you. It is a part of you. It is one with you. So law of attraction is your mindset of what you attract into life. And sometimes this can also be bad. We often go out of our ways to prove ourselves right, even when it is not good for us. Sometimes we have a loving partner. We throw that person away and we go for someone that is more harsh towards us because we feel like we need to be treated like this. And thus it's like this in the afterlife. We're all crybabies in a sense saying, oh no, I've done all these harsh things in life. I need to go back instead of finding acceptance with itself and realizing that everything is compassion and learning and evolution in a sense and love. So love is the ultimate answer, progressing yourself and truly seeking the best outcome for yourself and seeing love for others. So not just completing you in a sense, but also completing your experience and sharing love. So helping others ascend. So the first becoming last are the ones who no longer need to reincarnate, but choose to come back in order to bring some light to the world to help others move on to the soul seeks and ultimate experience. You can even call this parallel lives that we all live in amongst each other's lives. So there's no hell. Hell is a mindset. Heaven is a mindset. You must go through hell to achieve heaven. You heard the saying? Woo! At your lowest points comes your greatest forms of change, your greatest points of transformation. And this is all from your lower self emerging to a higher self, primitive mind to a higher level mind, higher level of consciousness. So when you achieve this higher level of consciousness, you ultimately find love in everything. You forgive everyone, you don't hate anymore. You ultimately seek the best experience you can and see this experience as one. We are one but many. Peace and love everyone, I love you all. Connect to one, one a soul, and I'm a state.